we have in this studio. We're just all right. Just We're just welcoming in. people into the studio. Only, with us. only you're doing one of these. Well, that, is that bad? I is don't know. Like, I, don't, like I don't know what that. Heather thought that was creepy. <laughs> I didn't mean to be creepy. <laughs> no, we're excited to have you all yes. here with us. Um, a lot of you were commenting and liking and sharing the pictures that we posted yesterday. We had so much fun on our recent photo shoot. Yeah, it was, Becky Thurner is the photographer. She is so talented, uh -huh. and we really did have fun. We were laughing. We were causing problems because we were laughing too much is one of our favorite pictures she came up with. This is like a Vanity Fair pose well, <laughs> of the entire team here on PTL. The thing is, is that it takes a long time to get everybody in place. Once she puts you in place, right. Becky's like, don't move. Don't move. And she says, I have a vision. This is going to be Vanity Fair-esque. And yeah. so we see the end result, and it was we love fabulous. It. Yeah, but, but it, it also reminded <laughs> us of other poses like this. So this is a picture of Dallas. Remember Dallas who shot JR, the soap opera? This is actually in the hallway at KDK, and it's kind of similar. It is. Like, you know, see, we, now, could, we could have a spinoff. We could have a nighttime soap opera. If only Becky would have prepared us ahead of time. What? That we what were going to be doing something like Dallas, we could have worn the same outfits and brought in a cowboy oh, exactly. hat. Oh, we could have had the same outfits. We could have as done the, the whole cast thing. Of, oh wow! Yeah. Next time, Becky. Next, next time. time, we'll have fun with that. And you know, on social media, people were also chiming in saying that reminds me of something else. It reminds me of remember the Family Feud back <laughs> in the old days, the Richard Dawson Family Feud, and the families would start, and they would be posing like Frozen poses, right? So this this is a clip from the old family feud, <laughs> <laughs> and then they jump into action. I love that. The funny thing is, is that we kind of did this after we, we after we nailed it. I love and Becky look. was like, "That was great." We were like, "Yeah, right. all right." Jump, we should have had it. a camera rolling then, like a video camera. Uh -huh. But look, Team PTL, and now it, 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 I'd be really impressed if we all jumped up and and yeah. went into motion. We had so we much fun. Yeah, that. I mean, Ron went from the Captain Morgan stance to not. We had <laughs> Selena on the floor. We had Mikey on the floor. Everything was perfectly yeah. in place. It was it, it was, was fun, fun too because it made you feel like. It, like what these movie stars must feel like in those special shoots for Vanity Fair. Yeah. Like, you know, Becky makes you feel, you know, kind of special. She's moving lights sure. around. My She's favorite. telling, da My David, put your chin out. Put <laughs> your chin out, out David. <laughs> Giving you the tips. My favorite line was, Heather, refresh your smile. <laughs> so. Wipe well, and refresh. But you know what? Sometimes that, that's true. When you're taking a lot of pictures yeah. and you get sort of frozen that way, but you have the best smile. Oh, you're so Yeah, there's so the many best, wonderful pictures you of have, her. You have the best smile. No. Well, uh, baby <clears throat> Archie isn't ready to smile yet, but his parents <laughs> were just beaming with joy yesterday as uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry walked out holding little baby Archie in front of a bunch of photographers. I think that the photographers, I heard them kind of yelling like, can you tilt him a little bit more towards us? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the best we got, profile of baby Archie. That's not bad, that little no. freeze there is not bad. But yeah, yesterday at this time at <laughs> 9 a.m. when we were airing on KDK, we didn't know the name. So the name was announced later in the day. It's Archie Harrison Montbatten Windsor which is a big long name, but they're calling him Archie. Archie. Which, which is a German name and it means truly brave. I like that. And it's actually a pretty common name. Archie is likely to be one of the most popular names by 2022 based on obviously the name picked yesterday. Yeah. Um, but I, I was reading some stuff and, and Archie is very common in the UK, which got us thinking about common nicknames everywhere. Yeah, and, and and Archie is sometimes short for Archibald, but Archibald. not this time. His yeah. name is Archie, which actually reminded me of my dad and I because we we our middle name is Larry. It is not Lawrence. It's Larry. So my middle name is Larry. Yeah. Well, so much like Archie's not Archibald, I am not David Lawrence Convention Center. I am David Larry. <laughs> yes. David Larry. Jerry, David so. Larry Highfield. I like it. Yeah. Okay, so we wanted to get to our list because this is the most popular baby names in America based on parents.com. For boys right now, Jackson, Liam, Noah, Aiden, and Caden. And I actually, now that my daughter's in school, know a few of these. I love all boys. those names. I think all those names are great. So I, it's interesting how names go in and out of popularity. Right. Like when you were born, I bet there were a lot of other Heathers. Yeah, Heather, Tiffany, Jessica, 
I'm trying to think of some of the yeah. other common ones right. during that time. Michelle. All right, so the most popular list. girls' names, because we have a list of that now, the most popular girls' names, Sophia, mm -hmm. Olivia, Emma, Ava, and Isabella. And I love all those names, too. I love that. There's not a one there that I, I would say no. Well, do you notice something about the girls' names? They all have vowels. They yeah, begin they all, with vowels and they end with vowels. They all end with an A on the end. Yeah, and that's something that's really popular right now is ending a girl's name with a vowel. Oh. It's a trend. See the things I learn on this program? It's a trend. And yeah. both, both my girls, Lila and Sunny, A and I, yeah. the end. You know what, if, if my mom told me years ago, she said, if, David, if you had been born a girl, I would have named you Heather. Aww. So that would have been, my name would have been Heather. Well, and when our parents <laughs> were pregnant, there was no telling what you were. So you had to have a name both ways. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> ready, ready to go. <laughs> and, and my mom actually told me that she had no doubt in her mind. I was a girl, she didn't care. No one could tell her otherwise. It was a girl and oh. my name was Heather. So you, she didn't have a backup. She didn't have a male name backup? I don't, I don't know what she would have done. She my, would have been in a pickle. She would have been in a pickle, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, my mom had, she had Michael or David and then she had Heather. So that would have just been. Just in case. Yeah. Only one case. backup. Um, well, and so your name means beloved? It means beloved. I didn't I know that. that. But I, thank you, Mom and Dad, for are, naming me Heather, or you, naming me David. <laughs> <laughs> what is my name? <laughs> David Lawrence, no, Larry Highfield. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but, but the name Heather, it's an English name, mm -hmm. means a flowering plant. Which it actually is. Right. He the Heather, a, a Heather, plant. A yeah. Heather plant. And also it means an amazing person who defines what a woman should be. Ooh. Caring, honest, strong, sweet, gorgeous. Go on. No, no. <laughs> that was the extent of the list. Okay. <laughs> but I sold it, didn't I? That was from Urban Dictionary, though. I don't know was, if that's a well, true definition, but look, I like it. I, I, I saw that yesterday, and I thought, no, this defines Heather Abraham. Oh. We're going to use it. Well, I'm happy you found that yes. definition. I'm going to go with it. All right. Now we're going to quiz you. No, please don't. Yes, we are. <laughs> Listen, I love when we do things like this. So, you know, celebrities uh -huh. have their own world. So they yes. name their kids mm -hmm. things that perhaps are unusual, sometimes really interesting. Whatever they want, really. Whatever they want. Yeah. And so anyway, we have a list of uh, possible celebrity names. And you get to guess, Heather, whether these are actual baby names that, that celebrities have chosen for their okay. children or are they made up. All right, first one is Apple. Yes, I know that. Gwyneth Paltrow. Yes, right? Gwyneth Paltrow, uh -huh. you're, you are correct. All right, next one is Story. Is that a real celebrity baby, or is that name made up? I'm going to go yes, true, yes. Wait, wait, is Ron <laughs> Smiley giving you answers? He just gave me a thumbs up. I right. know it. He doesn't it's, know. It's Jenna Elfman's baby. Oh, yes. he did know. Okay, baby. all right. All right, so next is Suede. <laughs> is Suede a celebrity baby or not? Ron? 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 This is he, not he, a team he, sport, Heather. <laughs> I'm going to go no. You are correct that Suede is not a celebrity baby that we are aware of. That we're right. aware of. Okay. Coco, what do you think of that? Yes. Yes, Courtney Cox. Okay. Uh, Denim. Oh, I hope not. Tony Braxton. Oh, it's Tony, a real name. Tony, Tony. Real name. All right. Okay. Honor, what do you think of that? Yes, I know that one. That is um, Jennifer Alba? Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba, yes. thank You're you. You're really yes. close. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, next, Everest. What do you think of that? I kind of like that name. Uh, I'm going to go with a no. You are incorrect, Heather oh. Abraham. That is George Lucas's baby. George Lucas. Everest. Everest. All right. Okay. Phantom. No. You are correct. No one is named Phantom that we're aware of. All right. Maple. Oh, that's sweet, kind of. I kind of liked Phantom, yeah. too. I made that no, up No, no, not Phantom. Oh. Maple. <laughs> Okay. Hope you, did your research. you just made it up. <laughs> I don't know. I did. I made it up. Uh, um, Maple. Maple, yes, true. It is true. Jason Bateman uh, is the father of Maple. A saint, what do you think of that? Yes, true. Yes, Kim Kardashian. Corduroy. No, I hope not. Corduroy. Well, Heather, no, you are correct. Okay. No, one, no, no celebrity baby is oh. named Corduroy. All right, Sunday. No. Yes, is the answer. Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban. Oh, really? Yes. And the last Why one. Why not Saturday? Saturday's so much better than Sunday. But I think S Sunday sounds more like a name. But Saturday, right. yeah. Don't you think? I don't know. But it doesn't least, sound like a name at all. At least it's not Tuesday. Because if it were Tuesday, yeah. that's Heather Abraham's least favorite Least favorite day. day. Yes. Blue Ivy, yes, Beyonce. Beyonce and Jay Z. That one I yes. know. All right. You did well on that quiz. All right, th this really brings us to one of the things that we were ranting about yesterday, which is how hard it is to pick a name for a baby. There's really a is. lot of pressure on this. Yeah. I mean, you know, do you, you're, you're basically deciding what kind of child, human being you want your kid to be. You think the name dictates that much? <clears throat> 
I think so because before the people's people reactions even meet to you, that. yeah, they, they kind judge of, you perhaps based on the name. Well, if your name is Sunday, people are like. Well, maybe they're more intrigued. Who is maybe this Sunday you intrigued. talk of? But you were saying that, that some moms don't even reveal, like if they even have, right. I shouldn't just say moms, moms and dads don't even reveal what the name is because they don't want someone else to possibly pick that name. Well, and, pick it or judge. Oh, yeah, because if someone tells you. They don't like the name, especially if you're hormonal and with child, you don't want somebody to say, really? You like that name? So imagine the pressure that Meghan you might and hurt them. Prince Harry <laughs> felt. All the pressure, everybody taking the bets on the name world. they want. Yeah, well, I liked Spencer. Yeah. You like Spencer. I like Spencer. Okay, well, a lot of, we posted this on Facebook. I just wanted to get to this quickly. A lot mm -hmm. of people commented uh, about Mother's Day, what they wanted to do for Mother's Day. We asked you all on Facebook, and I loved this. Okay, so Sheila says, I want my two sons, daughter-in-law, and two grandchildren to know I thank God for you every day and how much I love you and adore you. I want you to be happy and healthy. I would love to see my mother one more time and tell her how much I love and miss her. That's there were, sweet. There were so many comments that were funny. Yeah. Some of them, Sonia, uh, slippers and a bottle of wine. I love that. But so there were some Rain great answers. Rain said diamonds yesterday. She did. And then <laughs> Lenore says someone to professionally clean my house free of charge. That's a good one. Miriam was very simple. She just wants a phone call from all the kids. She says that would be nice. That's sweet. I know. Yeah. Happy Mom's Day to everyone <laughs> in advance.